So this morning we're here at Creative Quilting with Isabel Sully. It's a Sunday morning and Isabel has very kindly agreed to open the shop so that we get a private tour. Now this has over the years become my second home. It's very close to Hampton Court and therefore very close to London. Um, we're here in the shop surrounded by gorgeous fabrics but you've also got lots of shop samples Izzy and we you're have. the author of those. Yes I am. Well I didn't design them but I certainly made them. Um, I discovered Kelly from Don Look Now in one of the Australian magazines and fell in love with her first quilt which was called Meg's Garden and since then I've made about six or seven of her patterns. I love doing raw edge appliques so it's absolute delight to make them. And yeah and the, the pictures are great uh, I have to say they're not overly complex are they they come in a pattern form and we've got um, the robot behind us but it takes it's a bit time consuming and of course the trick is the, is the fabrics, isn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. But at least I get to play with all the fabrics in the shop and in my, in my stash. I love the colours. Um, I try to stay as close as I can to the colours that she's used because then people can, can really relate to the, to the pattern where they see it. But from time to time I can go off course as well and create something completely different. So uh, the patterns are all available from you. Yes. They come, some of them in kit form, I think. That's right. This is your latest called Memories. Yep. That's correct, yes. And again, you can see I've tried to stick to our colours uh, as close as possible. We've used fabrics from the shop, so we, they're really just exclusive to us. We've used the lovely linen and cotton mix for, for the background. It's lovely to work with. Works really well with heat and bond, and it gives a lovely, lovely texture. And um, that that background fabric on here is quite pale. It's the white, but you also have the linen colour as well, don't right. you? That's right. Yes, we've got the natural one, which okay. I used on on Meg's garden. That's oh, brilliant. Well, I can see some really gorgeous French fabrics behind Matt. So let's go off and have a look at those. <laughs> sure. So here we are in front of these lovely fabrics that I spied across Matt's shoulder. They look like linen, Izzy, are they? They do look like linen, but no, they're not. They're actually 100% cotton. They're called cotton chambray and they come from France. They're the latest arrival in, in the shop. I'm absolutely delighted to have them because they had, they really add a bit of texture to everything. They have, they're very traditional patterns, the sort of very French in a way. They come in blue and in red and you can mix the cotton chambres which are these and the regular cotton. You can actually mix them. They behave the same way in a quilt. They're really really s lovely. Mm. I can see these absolutely gorgeous texture on this. Absolutely yes. They, they feel really really nice and they make lovely cushions. I mean you can use them in quilts. There's, there's absolutely no reason why not but you can also home deck you know if you wanted to make cushions and things like that they are absolutely beautiful for for that and smashing yeah. smashing absolutely gorgeous display yes very tempting good <laughs> temptation <laughs> i think point. is free but it ends up being expensive <laughs> you know? i know i know <laughs> And now again over Matt's shoulder I can see your new uh, Vintage Rouge block of the month. So yes. can you go and tell me a bit about of that? Of course I can, yes. So I picked up the pattern here, Izzy, and here's this gorgeous quilt. You made it, didn't you? I did. Sample. I did, yes. I, I made it because we were going to offer it as the block of the month and I really wanted to test the instructions uh -huh. because I'd like to make sure that everything is tickety-boo for our customers. So um, I did make it, really enjoyed it. I discovered some new techniques. Well, they were not new, but they were new, new to, to me. You. Yes, yeah. I've never done uh, paper piecing. So that was a new thing to me and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that was, that was really good fun. But the instructions, I was really, really impressed, really good and enjoyed it tremendously. And it's quite a big baby. It is. It Double is. size, 78 yes. by 78. Yes, yes, yes. So it's, it's a good size, you know, it, it will cover, it will look lovely on a, on a bed. And I, I made the top, but I didn't quilt it. I was going to say, this is, this is stunning. This is yes. another Isabel. Another Isabel, yeah. Isabel Hall, who's very local to us. Compton She's our, Quilting. Absolutely, yes. our local long arm quilter. She's done a really, really lovely job on it. I was really, really chuffed. Um, the quilting doesn't interfere with the patchwork because you no. didn't want to lose the patchwork and I think she's, she's really managed to find a, some, a pattern that really complements the, the quilt. I was really chuffed with it. 
yep. and really lovely yes, yes really yes, lovely yes. so and this is uh, you're offering this complete the fabrics it's the only colorway and it's over how many months it's over six months oh, so, so quite you short get time. It, yeah so you can have it ready for christmas if you want you know if <laughs> which you christmas now, yes which? exactly well when you say you're going to make something for christmas just don't put a date after no. word christmas absolutely okay. absolutely well, I think that's absolutely super easy. Um, talking about threads, uh, which we kind of did with the quilting, can we go and look at your thread supply? Of course we can. Yes. Follow me. So we've wandered down into your little thread corner. Yes. But, of course, uh, these caught my eye, fangles. You get me demonstrating these a lot. I know. And I just love them, I have to say. They're they a great, great idea, aren't they? Yes. yes. Yes, they're a great system to make half square triangles. We stock the whole range. There's, there's quite a lot of sizes available. And of course, the best seller is the two inch finish, the one you're holding, because they work fantastically well with jelly rolls or you know, two and a half inch strips. Yeah, basically. they're not a new idea, but I really do feel they came of age with the, with the introduction of the jelly rolls. Yes, it just gives really so do. many options, Absolutely. doesn't it? So I'll just put this back on its stand. And uh, we're here in front of the stranded cottons. That's right, I yes. remember from my cross-stitch days. <laughs> but underneath we've got cotton pearly. Now people use those just as they are, don't they? You do, yes. You can use them for embroidery and of course with next door to the Royal School of Needlework. So they, they love those. But for quilters, they're really good for utility quilting and big stitches. The big stitches. Yes, they really make a statement on the quilt and they can add a lot of colours as well. Yeah, so this, this, this is a variegated one, but it's, um, I think, commercially dyed. Whereas over your left shoulder, we've got some hand dyed ones. That's right. We? Yes, the pearly threads, again, not stranded, so you would and split these but they they're lovely they're 100 percent cotton they're made in um, south africa and you get three different colors on the card so you can add a bit of variety to yeah. your quilting that would make the quilting these. really pretty I think. really nice yeah yes, really good and then on to you've got a huge selection here in the shop of I machine know. threads yes they're really have. spoiled um again variegated the sulkies they're a bit thicker, aren't they? The blendables, yes, they're 30 weight. So again, if you want to make a statement with your quilting, that is really the, the threads to use. They are variegated. The colors change it about every one inch or two, one inch or two inches. So they're really good on, on small projects as well. You will get the change of color. They're 100% cotton and you can even use them for hand Quilting oh, I was going to well, ask you about want. that. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. I would, I would wax them, you know, use use some sort of coating on them. But you okay. can certainly like use thread them magic for... or something. Absolutely. Because I think yes. beeswax is now hard to come by. Uh, we still hand. manage to get. Them. Do you? Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yeah, we still Talk stock it. Okay. Talking about hand quilting, you've got hand quilting threads here, but these must not be used on um, the the machine because of that wax factor, yes, isn't it? Yes. Don't use hand quilting thread in your machine unless you want a new machine, in which case it's a really good thing to do because you will probably break the well, not break the machine, but you will get caught the in, the, in the tension. Yeah, you discs, will really distort the tension, yeah. so you yeah. don't want to be doing that. But otherwise, you've got regular cotton threads here and lovely embroidery threads, all for the machine yes and we also oh, got the Invisafil up there which were recommended to us by Philip and Ayla and if it's good enough for Philip it's good enough for absolutely me. absolutely love them um, is it invisible it's almost invisible it melts in the fabric okay. so you really but don't you, see it at all you've it's, got a whole range of colors though so we do. it gives some sort of color te color texture to it it's it does yes but it's you would sort of use the the one if you're using it for for quilting you would then try to match it to your to your fabric so that you really lose it lose the thread completely if you More didn't texture want to see it. Than absolutely thread. yes right. you're creating texture rather right. than line you're absolutely right and hand french hand quilting thread french hand quilting thread yes slightly different colors from the gutterman so they're a really good complement to to our range they're slightly finer than the the gutterman so some people absolutely adore them mm -hmm. so we do we do stock them as well good and then back to um, machine threads rainbows and bottom line yes what a great invention that's been. it is it's they're really really good the bottom line were designed by Libby Lemon and originally they, they were really designed to go with the rainbow you would put the rainbow on the top to do your quilting because you've got the lovely colors and then you would put the bottom line in the bobbin um, 
I actually peace with the bottom line and I know some people are going to go you can't peace with polyester thread well actually I find that it works for me so I'm not saying that everybody should be doing it but I I really really I think you've got to check your machine yes yeah but certainly life since when I opened the shop in 1989 polyester thread has come a long way it has yes everyone should give it a second chance absolutely including me Okay, now I'm going to ask you to show me some of your lovely children's fabrics. Absolutely, I'll follow you. You've got a lovely range of children's fabrics here, Izzy. Perfect for the new young mum and and granny. Absolutely, yes. We try to keep a good selection of really bright fabric, but also pastels. And of course, neutrals, because you don't always know what the flavour of the baby is going to be. So that's that's important. And these are very strokeable because they're cotton fl- flannel, aren't they're they? They're flannels, yes. And we, I pride myself with the selection of yeah, flannels coming back that here, we've, we've got. got this is your pastels, as you say. Yes, absolutely. And, the and there's some more further down there yeah, as, well, as well. So, And again, we try for the pastels and the brighter ones so that everybody can find something they like, really. Yeah, super. Yeah. And you cut your own strip rolls and nickel packs? We do, yes, we do. We spend a lot of time do, doing that, but they are really perfect you know if you're in a rush and you need yeah. to make a, a baby quilt can sometimes baby arrive very quickly or you know they are absolutely or you want to fantastic know, wait until you know what flavor it is absolutely, and yes. one of these and one of these works a quilt as i know well yes my, you my students do use them a lot yeah, yeah. and christmas christmas you yes. always have some we d- we always try to keep a, a Christmas selection, yes, and uh, the you know the we've got the traditional Christmas and then we've got brighter Christmas as well. Advent calendars. I usually spend off one of the bank holidays in May, making advent making calendars up. because what else would you want to do? But they're they're good fun. They are lovely. And Christmas starts really early nice. in your shop, usually July and August. Oh, even even sooner than that. Yeah. The panels, the panel will start to arrive in in May, May June. They will start to arrive, and by the end of August, all of Christmas would have come in because you know, as you know, it can take some time to make a quilt or well, project. Well, you need the time, so, don't yeah. you? Yeah, you do. You do. You do. Yes, yes, you do. You talked about it coming in. You've got a web. I mean, you always had a really nice website, but you've now got online ordering. We secure. do. So you're open twenty four hours a day on the website. Absolutely, yes, we are, and, and almost every day of the week. The website certainly open every day of the week. The shop is open every day of the week as well. So uh, yes, even on a Sunday. Even on a Sunday. Twelve yeah. till four. Absolutely. Well, I can see from the clock on the wall behind you that I need to let you go. It is and opening I let time. Yes. Come in. Thank you so much for showing us around. Thank Izzy. you for coming.